Howdy from Arlington, Texas, y'all. I hope this video finds you well. We are on take three. I had an incident with the first one that I can't remember what it was. Then I was three minutes in and my wifey called and it cut off because I am doing this one from the iPad. And we're going to try to get this going. So I hope everybody is recovered from their card show weekend. If you were one of the ones fortunate enough to be able to attend a show of some sort, they were a lot all over the country, so hopefully you were. I am not recovered yet. I am still very, <laughs> still feel a lot, pretty worn down from 14 hours on Saturday. Probably isn't helped by the fact that we've had rain here in Dallas, in the Dallas area. I'm mean, over in Arlington for about a week straight, and there's, it's going to be for another week. Although, there is some sunlight outside right now. Um, if you watch her, if, watch her, if you watched last night's show with Herman 3B collection and myself um I am however recovered from the allergy attack that I had on air last night as uh Bo referred to it this morning um yeah my allergies uh, I don't know in the middle of the show man my allergies just went haywire from out of nowhere um went to bed my eye was super puffy I woke up it was still puffy that's not a normal thing. Usually that goes away overnight, but I have recovered. Um, we talked. Herman was in Spartanburg, South Carolina for a card show. I was at the Dallas card show. We had a guest appearance from Bo, One Million Cubs, who was at the second Madison card show, a new monthly card show that he co-promotes. And then we had a guest appearance, Jump On Unexpected, by Uncle Rich Klein. So we talk card shows. Usually we go an hour. We went about an hour 15. Could have gone, I could have gone three hours to be honest because I just love talking about card shows. But anyway, if you haven't, hope you'll go check that out. I will try and remember to put the link below, although sometimes I'm not good at that. So let's get going. Um, it's funny how things work sometimes. This morning I sent a message on Twitter to uh, my buddy Dan. Uh, Y'all probably know him as Korean Cardboard. Uh, so he does live in Korea and I said, I just said, Hey, what's your buddy's address with him living there when he buys stuff from here or people have stuff for him, uh, it goes through a friend of his who then, you know, every few months will pack and ship stuff. So he gave me his address and I was like, okay, cool, great. And then in the mail today, I get an envelope from sport lots. Uh, couldn't figure out what was going on. I have some stuff in my sport lots box. Um, but didn't request shipment. When you request shipment, you have to pay, you know, you pay to ship it again. But I was like, well, it's not a ton of cards. I don't have a ton of cards in the box currently. Uh, in November, they were so full that they were offering shipping discounts. If you, uh, took your cards, of which I did partake. If you've been watching for a while, you saw a huge video, a huge live stream on that. But it turned out to be a bunch of seven pur purchases from eight different sellers that Dan had bought for me. Um, I don't know what I've done to deserve that. Uh, I have yet to actually send Dan anything, but I mean, I guess I get it because I do send people stuff without them having to send me stuff. So I guess I get it, but it is truly appreciated. So let's get going. The first one had maybe a dozen cards in it. And I'm just going to say, and this goes through the whole thing, not just this particular one, but did a great job of picking stuff because these are guys I collect and I have a decent amount of cards on all these guys. Uh, but only a couple of these did I actually have already. He just did a fantastic job. So now we're at four minutes. Let's finally show something. So these are some Panini stickers that I don't recall seeing. Maybe I've seen them on Sport Lots. Um, a couple were from 92 or 91 and, a couple, and one from 92. I'm guessing this is the later one because it shows Sir Charles... Uh, shows him in a Sixers uniform, but with a Suns on the logo. But these are awesome. I collected Panini stickers, uh, the baseball albums back in the day. I love those. Um, 88 was the first one, and man, those things are nostalgic for me. Uh, but I never did any of the other. I take that back. I think I did the 88 football. It was a green-bordered book with uh, John Elway on the front. Didn't do it as much as I did the baseball, but I definitely had a few. Uh, so this one is a Tops Embossed, which you know kind of has... Hence the name embossed. It kind of has that action-packed feel where it's raised. And then the border is kind of like, if you remember the Ovation Basketball that Upper Deck did later. You know, it has the uh, 
the rays like it feels supposed to feel like a basketball. Obviously, it doesn't because it's cardboard and not what a basketball is made of. Still, hella awesome card. This one here, uh, I mean, it looks like a base, and I couldn't find any markings on it. But the, I mean, everything matches up from what it was. But apparently, this was a sprite card. I would have, like I said, I would have thought you'd see a sprite logo, but it did have a slightly different finish than what I remember the regulars looking like. And it's card number 13, which matches up with what was on the, the shipping invoice or the shipping list. So that is one I did not have. This stack house is all FLIR. I do not believe I had that one. This one I did, but that's just because I love this card so much. So hell, having an extra copy, that ain't nothing to be upset about. Love any of the Charles Barkley USA stuff. And that's kind of one of when I finally get back to working on picking up some of his cards that I'm going to get into is more of the USA basketball dream team stuff. I'm not talking anything high end or anything like that, but just getting a lot of those, getting a lot of stuff in that, the, you know, country colors. So this is a, what was this? Stadium Club Shining Moments. Did not have that one. And Welcome Additions to the Rockets. Did not have that. I mean, you're batting like 800, uh, Dan. That's that's pretty damn awesome. I mean, I'm sure anybody would be happy with that. It would be like, it's kind of like, it makes me think you went through my uh, trading card database thing, but I look at some of the things I got, and I don't have any of that listed on trading card database, so I don't think you did. I think you just did awesome. Um, This, next one. Oh, here we go. This one did not actually come with an invoice that I see or come with anything um, from the, the seller themselves, but a Steve Slayton WVU, what is this, 2008 draft edition. Hail West Virginia. Speaking of West Virginia, if you've been watching my channel for a while, Alec Manoa got called up today by the Blue Jays and apparently will make his Major League debut tomorrow. I wish I was more organized because I really would like to do a, sh you know, just kind of show off what I have of him, a little showcase, but I'm not going to have time to pull that all tonight and do it. Maybe I can try and do it tomorrow. Um, doubtful, um, but I would love to be able to do all that. Congrat congratulations to Manoa on getting called up to the majors. Um, now, if only Panini would get me his, the five outstanding autograph redemptions I have from him, but, you know, thanks Panini. So this... One here was a couple different ones. Charles Barkley Rebound Kings. Did have a copy of this, but that's, again, kind of like the other one. It's because I do love this card so much. It's a 90s insert. You know, I, I, I love the picture of him posting up. You know, I'm so old. I remember when basketball players would post up and inside guys were actually, you know, appreciated. Doesn't seem like they are anymore. And an Andrew Shaw. For the Andrew Shaw Project, a 2021 Upper Deck. Awesome! I think I had purchased one of those on Com C, but I definitely did not have it because I haven't shipped anything from Com C in more than a year, which means, you know, I won't get anything for probably another year. Uh, so I had it there, but I did not have it in hand, so that is awesome. And that's another player showcase I want to do soon. This one, a couple cards here. I'm going to save my favorite for the last. A Mike Ganzi rookie card. Dude, do not have that. That is freaking awesome, man. I am super happy about that. We've got a Charles Barkley hypnotized. Again, another 90s insert that honestly I just really loved. And I bought so much hoops this year that this set just, you know, it gives me all the, all the, all the memories and all the feels. So I do have a couple of these, but I... Happy to have a third one to add into the binder. And this one is the electric court parallel. Um, if you remember these years, there was a base, an electric court, and a gold electric court, I believe. Um, but I definitely did not have this one. And I just, there was something cool about electric courts. They were parallels. They weren't numbered. They weren't colored differently. But they just had that little hologram stamp, uh, to which I thought was awesome across all sports. You know, there was the electric diamond in baseball, the electric ice in hockey and they were kind of the same they weren't quite just plain hologram those seem to have a little more uh detail to them but those things were great absolutely love them i don't know if dan knows this but you know from this era wvu football i mean you had steve slayton pat white noel devon you had a lot of guys um that are just 
Mountaineer icons. But Owen Schmidt was my favorite player in that time. The big fullback who had played a couple years of Division three ball, walked on at WVU, and just had an impact. Played a few years in the NFL, um, but this guy was my favorite. He had a had a mohawk, and I mean, there's the YouTube, you know, you can find him on YouTube, a couple clips of him where he was so mad at himself that he took his helmet off and beat himself in the head with it and busted himself open. It's a little crazy. Might have made a good pro wrestler, um, but he did not, did not elect to go that route. But yeah, this is... Schmidt's probably my number three favorite Mountaineer of all time. And, you know, from that era of Mountaineer football, which really is the golden age for us, uh, he definitely is my favorite. So I absolutely love this. Dan, you kicked ass, man. Looks like uh, just got a couple more here. This is the, I believe this is the 2021 MVP, right? Yep, 2021 MVP Andrew Shaw base. That is another one like the earlier shawl that I did have bought on Calm C but have not had shipped home. So this is my first copy in hand. Absolutely love it. All of these cards are going to get the sticker on the back that are going to say, you know, gift from Korean Cardboard. And they will always be a part of my collection. Um, actually, third time's a charm or third time's the same on the Andrew Shaw. This is the 2021 OPG that I did not have a copy in hand. But I do now. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Almost glad I turned this one around. Charles Barkley sticker on the back. Awesome. All right. Last one. This is a Mike Gansey press pass. Gansey, I want to say, is like the assistant GM with the Cavs, or at least was as of a few years ago. Can't say that I 100% know what he was, he was now. Everybody remembers. So this is one of the guys that played on the team with Kevin Pitsnoggle. Obviously, everyone remembers Pitts Noggle, the name, you know, just everything. You know, the man that was a, a three-point shooting big man that couldn't make it in the NBA, but now I'm pretty sure he'd make it in the NBA with that skill set. Uh, love any Mike Gansey I can get. This guy was actually, you know, he was the best player on the team the two years he was at WVU. Um, not not to besmirch Pitts Noggle or any of the other guys on the team, but Gansey was, he was the guy. Um, he was just a little under the radar. Awesome, awesome mail day. Dan, I appreciate it more than you can know, or more than you know. And uh, like I said, I do have a couple uh, do, do have a couple things for you that I'll get shipped out sometime uh, to your buddy and get to you. But I know you just had a shipment sent, sent over to you. So I know it'll be a few months. So I'll probably wait and see if I can't pick up a couple things here and there for you to just add in as a thank you for your Korean cardboard kindness i will leave it at that thanks again for watching everybody uh not sure if i'll have a video tomorrow probably leaning toward no i'd like to i'd like to do the manoa thing but we don't know uh don't know if i'll be able to get it done because i have some life things to do and i will have a throwback thursday this week so at the latest i will see you thursday have a great day y'all